Hi there! I'm Gabriel and I work at The Running Stitch. Today I want to show you the Scrap Crazy Non-Slip Rulers. They are fantastic rulers. They're created by Creative Grids, uh, designed by Karen Montgomery. And I'm going to show you the three rulers. There is an A and B shape, a C shape, and a D shape. And you can cut them out from 6 inch strips, from 10 inch layer cakes, or just from scrap. Basically what I'm trying to show you is that you can actually make a lovely scrappy quilt, just like the old way, except a much easier way, just by using your three rulers. You will be getting actually five shapes within that block and the block will be finished at 8 inches. So for example here, I have a 6 inch strip and I can layer as many as I want. I can actually place this D ruler right on it. There's the 6 inches, it fits perfectly. Next, I can place my C right up against it. I can cut that and then I can turn my C around, therefore I'll have my two C's that I need for this block. And then my B shape and that from here to here I can cut my B shape very easily. And then finally my A shape which is the longest piece. I can turn it this way and I'll cut along the length of the piece. You can always cut another D if you wish or another A. It's up to you depending on how you're creating your pieces. They come together quite beautifully. They actually sew up very beautifully. So here is one block that I've actually, there's four blocks, I'm sorry, that I've completed within this piece. And this is wonderful for this particular um, uh, block. I really love the way I could play with this block, with the fabric and the shapes, and I can have some fun with my beautiful stitches that I get from my Berdina 820. It is absolutely beautiful to play with. So you can uh, come in, in the store and take a look at it. It's really, really wonderful. Um, also, I want to show you how you get your pieces out of a layer cake. So let's say, for example, I have one layer cake. Here we go. There it is. And what you would do is put one of your pieces on first and you just leave about half an inch on this side. You would take your ruler, any old ruler will do, lay it on one side and you would cut it in half. Therefore you would have a piece like this. So two pieces. And I'm just going to turn it around because I've already actually cut all the pieces out. So here again you can see there is your A piece. This is your D piece a C and another C and then finally, finally, excuse me, your B. Five easy pieces that are sewn together. So here, your C, your B, your A, your C, your D. And they all come together quite beautifully. In fact, if I just show you very closely, there you go, look at how they actually match. So you can see that some of the uh, pieces actually have the little tips already cut off. So everything matches. You do not need to square anything up. In fact, once you have all these pieces put together, you just sew your blocks together and just have a great time. So um, you can use up your scraps, you can use wonderful fat quarters that we have tons of here at the Running Stitch. And uh, I'd be happy to show you how the ruler works in person if you wish. Thank you very much. I'm Gabriel. I'm from The Running Stitch. You can reach us online www.therunningstitch.ca. Thank you very much.